Understanding Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy Muscular dystrophy is a disease that slowly deteriorates the muscles in the body. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is one of nine forms of muscular dystrophy and it also is the most fatal genetic disorder diagnosed in children. Duchenne is the most rapid form of muscular dystrophy. The onset is early and the progression is very quick after diagnosis. The disease is carried on the X chromosome and there is currently no cure, but there is research on how to slow the progression of the disease. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is caused by a lack of dystrophin. Dystrophin is the largest gene in the human genome. It is a structural protein that acts as a glue to hold muscle fibers together. It binds to muscle tissue and helps maintain muscle structure. Without dystrophin, muscles will suffer progressive damage, become weak and limp, and eventually lose all function. As you can see, the two genes on the right are very similar in structure. Although eutrophin is smaller than dystrophin, it can function the same. Eutrophin is present at the time of birth, but is quickly replaced by dystrophin, the stronger of the binding genes. Eutrophin has been proven to replace the function of dystrophin in mice, but hasn't been thoroughly tested on humans. Research is currently being conducted to use eutrophin as a therapy for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, but not as a cure. There are four stages in the development of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Diagnosis is typically between the ages of two and seven. Some early signs of the disease include delayed milestones, such as talking, walking, and sitting upright on their own. Oftentimes, the child will move more slowly than his peers and show difficulty in physical activities such as jumping and climbing. The child will try to keep up with his peers, but will be quickly become tired before others without the disease. Large calf muscles are a good indicator of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The muscle fibers are here being replaced by scar tissue, which results in poor flexibility. The child will have difficulty standing up after sitting on the floor. Typically, they will walk themselves up with their arms. This can be seen in the photograph on the right. During the transitional stage, the core muscles begin to deteriorate more rapidly. The thigh muscles deteriorate, causing the child to have poor balance. They may walk on their toes or on their heels to compensate for better balance. Abnormal posture is seen when they push out their stomachs and throw their shoulders back, as seen in the picture. They do this to compensate for having a weak core. Heart problems become apparent as the muscle tissue in the heart begins to weaken. Some arm strength is lost during this time. The child will become fatigued and may have difficulty carrying their own books in school. Between the ages of 10 and 14, the child will lose the ability to walk and will need the help of a powered wheelchair. Deterioration of the extremities is causing difficulty in moving their legs and arms and the boy will need help using these limbs. Weak back muscles and constant sitting will enable a curvature of the spine which typically results in scoliosis and painful muscle cramps. Most children will keep the ability to use their fingers so that they can generally still use a computer. After the age of 15, progression of the disease will vary. Not every case is the same, but they will all have the same ending. The involuntary muscles, such as the lungs and heart, begin to lose function. Fluid in the lungs and shortness of breath are a few signs of loss of function of the lungs. Children with Duchenne muscular dystrophy will develop enlarged hearts and need yearly tracking to enable the best care be provided. Children with this disease will typically die between the ages of 20 and 30 from complications of muscle loss to the heart and lungs. Complications include heart failure, pneumonia. The disease is carried on the X chromosome, so males are the most likely candidates to have the disease because they only have one X chromosome. Women carry the disease but can very rarely develop symptoms of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. These symptoms are mild and very rarely require the child to have mobility aids. 
Women who carry the disease often develop heart problems that begin as shortness of breath and the inability to perform moderate exercise. In some cases, Duchenne muscular dystrophy does not run in the family, but develops from a genetic mutation and is passed on through genetics thereafter.